So we're going to convene uh, this meeting. We have an extremely important uh, program this morning. It is great to be back here at USC. Our, our first uh, effective meeting of the board was here in this auditorium. And we have uh, come a long ways uh, since then. As we <coughs> approach the frontiers of translational applications, one of the leading edge potentials for cellular therapy is macular degeneration. Uh, and it is <coughs> tremendous that we can have a board member uh, from USC who has uh, expertise and leadership in this uh, whole field. But I need to tell you that beyond macular degeneration and diseases of, of the eye, um, that uh, Dr. Pugliafito is uh, exciting, dynamic, brilliant, and phenomenal as a board member. So we thank USC for loaning him uh, to us, Dr. Pugliafito. Thank, thank you, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Keck School of Medicine. Macular degeneration is the leading cause of blindness in the industrialized world. And by that, I mean legal blindness, uh, defined as not really being able to see the big E on the chart. In California, in California, there are about three million patients who have some degree of macular degeneration. With the aging of the population, macular degeneration is a major public health challenge for the United States. And as the general health of individuals improves and their activity levels remain high in advanced age, the ability to read, to drive a car, to recognize faces which are the three things that macular degeneration steals from patients is actually increasingly important. This is the human eye. It's a one inch structure. It is the forwardmost projection of the brain. And that tissue, the retina, the neural sensing portion of the eye, has as its center uh, an organ, a, a, a region called the macula. And for those of you who took Latin, you remember that macula means spot. And in that spot is concentrated 95% of our central vision. The vision that we use to recognize faces, to read, to read signs, to drive. And I've circled it here on this photograph of the macula. So this is what a normal macula looks like. It is a smooth surface with very phenomenal light detection and neural transmitting properties. In macular degeneration, the ability to see centrally is affected. Peripheral vision is generally preserved. But this kind of vision is devastating. Macular degeneration covers a, a wide spectrum of affectation. Most patients, fortunately, have mild disease, dry macular degeneration. Some patients, as you can see here, there's some blood in that middle image, develop neovascular or wet AMD, which is the most rapidly progressive and serious variant of the problem. And at the end, when you get this gigantic scar in the macula, one is very functionally limited in terms of reading and driving. Over the last five years, we have made tremendous strides in the treatment of wet macular degeneration. We have two drugs, both block vascular endothelial growth factor and cause the regression of these blood vessels. But much is left to be done. 
particularly in patients with the dry form of macular degeneration. For those patients, stem cell biology and the translation of stem cell biology into the clinic offers those patients perhaps the most direct path to a cure. And that's what we're going to talk about today.